morning, YouTube. Uh, so this is how I slept. Got my guitar. Some notes for writing script. Have some food. Water. A sleeping bag. And my bag of clothes. And then my camera gear. This is my view. Now I gotta go brush my teeth. So, good morning. Check out the view. It's perfect. Let me set up. Sun's coming down this way. Make my way down to the river. <laughs> Sick. Someone left a tarp here. Damn, someone just left the trash here. People really need to pick up after themselves, especially when they're in nature. But what can you do? Gotta control your temper, not get mad about what other people do. You gotta focus on yourself. Just focus on like the things that you're doing. See this is like a new way or a new spot that I camped at and this hill back to camp is a little steep okay oh feels so good though I just wanted to say to anybody that's like struggling or like down on their luck or you know sometimes you know just life it just doesn't go your way I don't know if this is for everybody but like camping and like going out in nature I'm not talking about like a hike you know I'm talking about like really putting yourself out there and just like having like a reward that's like not like expected you know like every time you go on like a camping trip and if you could go solo camping or if you could go with a friend like every time like you go camping and you come back there's always like a feeling of reward like I did something that not everybody does and I did something that everyone doesn't like volunteer or like want to participate in and I did something like outside the norm and camping is really outside the norm even though camping is popular 
it's not like everybody like gets like excited and jumps up and down but like if you think about like other events like going to a club or a festival or anything you know I'm not saying don't go to festivals or like clubs but sometimes you need a little bit of like nature to like restabilize like the things in life you know this is the first time in my life I've ever grown a beard I always thought that like if I grew out my beard it wouldn't look full so I didn't want to look like an immature little boy trying to grow a beard so I never grew one but I grew one because of all these solo camping trips and I was like sick and tired of shaving in nature and yeah this is the outcome So what's cool about this spot at Kern River, it's free. I think that's the best, the best, best part, you know? You don't have to spend a lot of money to see things like this. Idahoan sour cream and chives mashed potatoes. I usually don't eat like this much like processed foods, but I didn't have enough. The market was closed at like seven yesterday. And I'll be honest, this is my first time using like a Coleman stove like this. It is so legit. Cause I was always using, um, I was using like one of these you just attach like a little top on it but this is way better i would say if you're ever buying like a camping stove don't buy like the convenient ones just buy one of those uh foldable ones that are like like a single that attaches to uh these kind of gas cans because these gas cans they're not everywhere not everybody sells it know what would be better see you know like these packets with like like mashed potatoes it's too much salt right too much sodium so if anything if you get like a real potato half a potato and boil it and then mix these two together it'll be like a flavorful mashed potatoes you know compared to eating all the sodium in like one take So if I had like a potato, <coughs> I'd probably like split it up in two portions where half a potato, half of this bag would be one meal and that'd be around like 400, 500 calories. Let's enjoy the view together.
now it's time to go to the river and wash these dishes. Okay, so one thing that I like seriously love about this like current river place, jets like fly like throughout this like like valley all day. It's so sick. And this is like one of the few times in life where you're allowed to go USA and not feel like oh I'm not trying to be like arrogant. Because when you see jets like that, you're proud to be American, that's for sure, man. It's like you could hate us all you want. But we're still American. And that's something to be very proud of. USA. So, this technique is easy. Anywhere you find like a little like like hook. Take one, make a circle. So it holds it down. And then this is your lid. You know, like a little gap. And you can put the second. So this holds it to place if it's windy. You know, if it blows away. Stuck on this. And then you can just put the handle. So it's like a lid. And then this is where your trash won't fly away. Yeah. And this is how to like survive in the heat. If you're on the river. And like the temperature is like, I don't know, 95 and up. It gets really hot. But if you soak a towel in the river water and just like put it on like your head or like place it on like your back, you won't, you, you'll stay, uh, you'll stay cool even in like super hot weather. And that's the reason I actually came out here because I wanted a clickbait title because there was like a excessive heat warning in Kern County. So I was like, all right. That's not, I mean, I could do a solo camp in like excessive heat and it's like not that bad. So I wanted to like show you how to survive in like super like hot conditions in the river because it's very doable. Because I remember when I was here like maybe a month and a half ago, I was here for two weeks and I remember, uh, yeah, I didn't really go with the river. I didn't know anything. It was like my first time here and like it was just super hot and like I didn't know um, the, 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 the axis of the sun so like I had my tent set up in like super hot area where it was just exposed to sun and I was just dying like frying up and so I was just like what can I do to stay cooler and I was like I'm not gonna move my tent because like at that time I was like a beginner like beginner camper so I brought a bunch of things you know and uh, I didn't want to move everything and then so I was just like what can I do to like stay cool so I was like okay I'm gonna go down to the river soak my towel and I'm gonna wrap it around my head and yeah that really like helped me survive for like another week still with my shelter so the things I did was I had like a blanket I'll show you it's over here so what I did was, I had like this extra blanket. And then, I don't know if anyone knows, but if you get a rock, and then you put it at a place where you want it to tie like on the corners especially. So I tied a rock like in every like middle section and every corner. So if you put the rock, inside the blanket and then you wrap it and you like tie a string on it it's like uh you could hang it and i was using this to yeah i was using this exact blanket to like provide myself shade when it was like a hundred degrees here and then yeah with uh the this towel i mean with this sheet and like a towel around your head and like you just have to soak it from like the river water and I would dunk myself in the river too when it was like too hot I would just like take a dip in the river and yeah I survived for like two weeks <laughs> and I'll be honest this is like one of the best things about like camping and being out in nature I've been to this exact spot not exact spot like this this location like seven times now right seven different times and i'll be honest i this is the first time i'm in this spot right 
but it's like it's like a totally new experience and then like with the new experience like you learn like oh if the terrain is like this condition it's better to tent like this and if it's like not something good then you learn from your mistakes so from every like trial and error of every like solo camping trip i went to like my setup is like this but i'll be honest like before my setup everything was super close to each other like my table would be right next to my tent and everything would be next to my tent and so it was my trash can and like everything would just be like all cluttered here but it's it's best to have your trash can away from your tent to not attract flies and it's just it's better to have like i don't know how to explain it but you just have to do it and then you start figuring out your, like your own like you could like design your own layout and you change it every time and you learn from every time so i really hope a lot of you like see a bunch of these like solo camping videos and like it takes the one person to inspire you so if it's not me like hopefully you know you see these youtube videos of me and other people solo camping and it inspires you to go out there and like explore and be like go on an adventure Do you see that wood? I just put it here. So this is kind of steep, dude. This is like this is not safe. <laughs> okay, hold on. This one. <laughs> Damn, dude! I fall every time. <laughs> That's like. My third time falling. It's okay. Life goes on. Ah. I mean, they do the like crab shells. You know, this stuff smells. I hate you. I hate you who left us here. Dude, they, these people, these, I don't know who did this, but I mean, okay, by looking at all this stuff, I would have to assume that these people, but I hate you so much. I'm gonna clean your trash. Why come here if you're gonna act like this? You know, seriously, like, why would you come out here to, like, trash it? Like, stay at home. Like, don't come out here if you're gonna act like this. Okay, so literally, I just picked up that much <laughs> So I'm probably gonna fast forward that so you don't hear the words. You just kind of hear me disgruntled. So I'm gonna try to calm down and you can watch me wash my dishes. Oh, and this, I'm gonna collect the river water and I'm gonna use it to like wash my hands and like wash my hands. Like, also, try not to drink straight from the river. If anything, you should always boil water. Seriously, I love that feeling. Oh my god. Seriously, the best feeling in the world. Slippery walk, slippery run. Alright, I'm back to camp. Amazing. Oh my god. 
Oh, that seriously feels amazing. I really wish everyone could one time experience this in their life. It feels so good. Oh my goodness. Oh. But this is a little close to the river and I wouldn't recommend that but Woo! Yeah. Oh that feels so good Oh that feels so good Seriously I talk about like mental health issues a lot right And especially like when you're by yourself Like what can you do to escape you know if you're stuck and if you have like the option to spend like maybe like a hundred bucks because of gas and food and like come out here for like a day just even a day you know you get to free your mind and like you know be outside your comfort zone and I'll be honest the first time I came to this river I didn't like dunk myself in it took like times of like baby steps you know I would just like sit in the river and then like you know one time I like laid down and then now it's just like I could just like submerge my whole body in and like not be scared something's gonna bite me or something bad's gonna happen and you know these are like the little things that like I want everyone to experience because like working at a job sucks and working at a job and not making ends meet sucks even more but sometimes, even when life sucks, you need like a break, you know, and like This is something I wish everyone can do, like be actually here Instead of watch. I mean, it's cool that you guys are watching this on my channel Thank you so much to all the viewers, I really appreciate Seriously, all the views that I've gotten over like the past month As like a beginner YouTuber I want to show everyone like my experience because I'm like fairly new to like solo camping and like YouTube and like if you could like watch like my videos and learn with me as I go through this process you won't have to like deal with all the mistakes I did when I started so cheers to that but one thing I really love about the YouTube thing it really makes me like go even a little bit further I'm not saying like go swim in this river right here I'm never gonna say that but just to be outside your comfort zone and that is something I really wish that all of you would like partake with me you know you could be like maybe like 200 feet there and someone else could be like 200 feet over there because this is solo camping you know this is to like find yourself not to be with other people to find your inner self and that's what I'm doing That feels so nice. Seriously, that feels so nice. Oh man. Oh, that feels so good. I'm like really hoping right now an airplane or a jet flies by so you can see how epic it is. I really hope one passes by here. Okay, no airplanes right now. Just as I do 
does turn off the thing. Well done. Okay, I know this might sound like a little bougie, but if you get like a outdoor mat like this, it's very convenient when you go inside your tent. You like to wash your feet. And it wasn't my idea. Actually, I found this. I found this mat at Yosemite when I was like solo camping there. And then someone just left the mat there. And I was like, wait, that's actually kind of a good idea. So I just, I took it. No one came back for it for like three days when I was there. So I've been uh, taking this along with me on my camping trips. So yeah, for Asian people, I mean, it, okay, it's not an Asian thing. I'll be honest, I feel like everyone should take off their shoes when they go inside their house. It's not like a racist thing. I know a lot of people wear their shoes inside their house, but it's very sanitary to like not wear your shoes inside your house because you just don't know what's on the ground from the outside and you don't want to bring that inside your home. And no one's gonna look down on you for taking off your shoes it's it's a good thing you know when i see like other like cultures doing it like other like nationalities like i'm like really happy i'm like i know that's like an asian thing but it's like dude we all could like take bits and pieces that are good from every culture and that's what america is america is a combination of like all the good things and the bad from like all cultures and that's why america is so strong you know and we are the frontiers of like diversification right now everybody's segregated but we're gonna come to a time where everyone everything's gonna be diverse and america we led the way if anyone's gonna want to know how we structured like racism and segregation and we like got over that they're gonna ask americans i know right now like everybody's like looking down on america because of everything blah 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 at the end of the day, America is the frontier of every new like organization. America is number one. So we have to be proud of that. I know right now we're kind of in like a down, but we will come back up. And I I don't guarantee it because who am I? But it's just like America's gonna be number one again. I mean, we are number one. It's just we're gonna be the number one where like because when I grew up Anywhere I went, traveled in the world, if you say you're American, everybody respected you. Right now, it's not like that. But it will change. America is, that's like, that's like America. Doesn't matter if we're losing, we're gonna win. That's like, America. And even though I'm Asian, that's how I think. And no one could ever like, deny me that. You could put a gun to my head, then that's the extreme. And they'll ask me, are you Korean? I'll be like, no, I'm American. And I know that I'm privileged. Seriously, I have like the most supportive parents. Like a lot of what I do now, of course it couldn't have been possible without my parents, but I know that everyone doesn't have like supportive parents like I do. There's a way on YouTube and whatever you're doing in your daily life that you can make money off YouTube and I know you might not believe it but trust me I, I, I can do that for you somehow some way I'm gonna figure out a way and do you know why I'm gonna figure out a way USA um, the real reason the real reason that like a lot of my ideas of what I do now, it might seem selfish, but the reason that I do a lot of the things that I do is because one day I like dream to live in a day where like everybody can do whatever they want, whenever they want. And that's freedom. And you know, even to like the people that like don't care about their like financials, you know, just because they're like successful, 
they'll tell you it's not fun being free by yourself you know and that's one thing I realized in my life where I had a lot and not everyone else around me had the things that I did and like the fun that I had with the things I had just wasn't like as fun as like I knew it could be so like I shared everything and then like now it's like 10 years after that you know if I can't if I could go solo camping like this and nobody else can or like the majority can't because of you know life bills you know family then I don't feel right like just doing this knowing that like people don't have an opportunity to do what I'm doing you know like taking a little plunge in the river and feeling what I feel like right now even like 20 minutes after it's like you feel great I can't give everyone money <laughs> but what if I was to teach you like what I did to like make money off YouTube and whatever you do I think that's like a message worth being shared and this was a thing by Trevor, no Trevor Noah it was in his book I forget what the title was but it was a good book I don't want okay I, I don't remember the name but there was a line in the book it's give a man a fish or a no give a person a fish and that person will eat for a day teach a person how to fish and that person will eat for a lifetime so I don't want to give you fish I'd rather teach you to fish and that was the thing too my reality back then I just gave people fish and that's why I had friends that's why I had a lot of friends but you know if I taught them how to fish and like maybe I wouldn't have ended up the way that I did <laughs>